Hey folks, battled out here again in Yellowstone. I just might want to have a look at this trail that I'm walking down, which is just bizarre. I'm looking at the falls in the background. Just look how pretty this place is. I'm hoping Yogi Bear doesn't kind of jump out at me. But um, this is our third day in Yellowstone. And it is absolutely breathtaking. We're staying in a cabin in the woods, literally. And the sign's up saying, you know, store your food, be bear aware, all that kind of stuff. Um, well, this morning when we came out at about 6.30 a.m., there was a, there were moose, a mummy moose and a, a baby. And uh, they were kind of right outside. This is called the, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. You can kind of see why. But yeah, we had a, a mama moose and our baby literally in our yard. Well, I call it a yard. There's a small little clearing to park your car and then the rest of it is kind of uh, wood like this. It's like ancient kind of pine forest. But it's amazing. It's amazing. We're about two miles off road with these cabins. And in winter, I'd imagine it gets pretty difficult. Uh, most houses have a uh, snowmobile parked outside and got their garages and what have you. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind a KTM 250 right about now. Just look at the light here. So I think because we're so far north and it's kind of getting on later in the year, although it's kind of 9.30 a.m. now, the light is kind of golden still. And this kind of golden hour lasts for quite a few hours actually. I suspect I may be stopping on the way back. This is incredible. So I can also hear the falls up ahead, which sound like they're quite pretty. And I think it's only fair that I try to keep this video going so you get a look at them with me. I don't know how much further I've got to go. They're over there, but we've got some switchbacks still. Yeah, a little, a little 250 might be quite nice. Um, when we were at Yellowstone Lake yesterday, I came across this guy from New Mexico. Let me watch my footing here. Thank you. It's hard on your knees this when you're 43. This is just like you see in the films, it's ridiculous. And this guy at Yellowstone Lake had a Unimog. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those, a bit of old army vehicle. And on the back he had a Rokon? Rokon? Rokon or OKON? Motorcycle, which is a two wheel drive, 200cc, seven horsepower motorcycle with fat tires on it that will apparently pull 2,000 pounds behind it. It just keeps going and going and going. So you had that set up at the back of this big Unimog. Jesus, look at this. This is just ridiculously beautiful. So yeah, you had, um, you had this thing on the back. Hey, look at that. And he's been enjoying himself off road. And apparently, this Unimog you can set the tyre pressures up and down from in the cab, which is quite nice. So, I've taken a couple of videos here. I haven't been able to get on a bike, unfortunately. Although, the place we're staying in, the cabin, they are bikers. They live about an hour away, and we wanted to be out all day, so although I had the offer, I'm just not really there to kind of pick them up on it. 
and go for a, a spin in the woods. But I haven't taken a couple of videos. And I thought I'd put at least one of them up, so maybe this is the one. But back in the town of West Yellowstone, so we're staying kind of south of West Yellowstone, a place called Island Park. But in West Yellowstone, they've got some nice... It's a bit touristy, but it's also kind of quite a nice town too. So I managed to uh, shoot some guns yesterday. A Beretta 92FS, an MP5, and a Chris Vector 45. And actually, I was quite, I was quite accurate with them. I guess playing airsoft kind of pays off, but that was an experience, but $130. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Let's see if we can get that rainbow for you. Stunning. Anyway, there you go. There's Upper Falls. What a beauty that is. So I'll see you soon. Ciao.